The Bible says the fountains of the deep broke open. So I think the earth got struck by a meteor. The water underneath went shooting to the surface, and the earth was covered with water. See, the earth's crust is kind of interesting. Pretty thin, actually, in some spots. Three to five miles thick under the crust, under the oceans, and 30 miles thick under the continents. The hot water from inside the earth would come shooting out, and it would kill animals that live within a certain radius of this, of the crack as the hot water escaped. As the basalt bulged up in the middle, the plates are going to slide down, explaining, as I said earlier, about the wrinkled mountains. Take a look at these mountains in British Columbia. They're, they've been pressed from the end, wrinkled up. What happened? As the water came shooting out, the hot water would kill all sorts of things within a certain radius. If you poured a gallon of boiling water into your aquarium, it would kill all the fishies within a certain distance, okay, until the temperature was, uh, dissipated. All over the world, little tiny creatures called diatoms are found dead in great big thick beds called diatomaceous earth. These diatoms are super tiny. It takes about a thousand years to get an inch of, inch of dead diatoms at the bottom of the ocean. They very slowly accumulate. When it dries out, they pack it into a special powder called diatomaceous earth. It is used for all sorts of things. It's used as kitty litter. It's used as oil dry. Diatomaceous earth is used as swimming pool filters. Uh, for, used in bricks, used in aspirin. It's used in medicines. It's used in all sorts of strange things you would never think of. It's diatomaceous earth because it is so absorbent. I was in Lompoc, California preaching. And I went to visit the world's largest diatomaceous earth quarry. I believe it's the world's largest. They're in Lompoc, California, which is right smack on top of the San Andreas Fault. There in Lompoc, California, back in 1976, they found the fossil skeleton of a whale standing on end 80 feet long, running through diatomaceous earth. Now, I know the whale is parallel with the layers. That's okay, because the layers have tilted up also. So the thickness of the whale becomes the problem, not the length. But still, if, if this stuff accumulates an inch every thousand years, how long is a dead whale going to lay there waiting for this stuff to gather around him? Dead whales are dissolved at the bottom of the ocean in a few weeks or months. Even the bones eventually disappear. They gave me a chunk of their diatomaceous earth out there. In that one little square foot, there are dozens, maybe even up to 60 fish skeletons. You know, fish skeletons are found in diatomaceous earth, and they're found with their gills extended, their fins extended. They died terrified. Whatever was happening to them was terrifying these creatures. Fossil fish are found by the trillions. The chalk cliffs of England and Dover, England are found this way. Chalk, from the Latin word crecia, which means chalk. Chalk 300 feet thick. There was a catastrophe that formed...